Welcome to BOC. This film is designed to help you weld safely, get the best possible results, as well as save you time and money. So whether you're just starting out on your career, already use welding in your workplace but want to achieve far more, or just want to get started, this video is for you. We're focusing on mag welding some mild steel, a typical workshop task, offering useful hints and tips, and all with one goal in mind getting the job done right and first time. Before welding, it's vital to select the right gas and equipment for the job and to think about what you wish to achieve with your weld. Getting these important basics right before you weld is a proven way to getting first time, high quality results. In this video, we will be focusing on three key areas. Selecting the ideal gas for the metal being welded, choosing the correct diameter of welding wire, and finally, making sure you have the right contact tip on your welding torch for the diameter of wire being used. Now, let's take a closer look at what gas to use. As we are working with this section of mild steel and we'll be attaching this strip of plate, the best choice is a shielding gas, precisely formulated for sections of mild steel. A high quality shielding gas like BOC's Argo Shield Light brings a whole range of advantages. Argo Shield Light combines oxygen, carbon dioxide and argon. This shields the weld pool from atmospheric gases, which can have a detrimental effect on the integrity and appearance of the weld. Modern advanced shielding gases, like BOC's Argo Shield range, are carefully formulated for different thicknesses, as well as types of metals and the type of weld itself. Argo Shield Heavy, for example, is for deep penetration into thick metal and used for heavy engineering and structural work and is unsuitable for this particular job. Selecting the right gas for your weld is critical. So if you are unsure about which shielding gas to use, you can get more advice at boconlineshop.co.uk or you can visit one of our gas and gear stores. Selecting the right diameter of wire for the weld you are performing is also very important. Substandard welds can be caused by using the incorrect diameter of wire. If the welding wire diameter is too small for the metal you are working with, you are less likely to achieve a strong and satisfactory weld because you have not transferred enough heat. And if the wire diameter is too large for the metal you are welding, there may not be enough heat generated to create a satisfactory weld. You can view the diameters of welding wire available and the type of welding work they are recommended for by visiting BOC's online shop. As we will be welding mild steel, we'll be using wire which is one millimetre in diameter and ideally suited for this work. And another key piece of equipment is the contact tip that transfers the welding current to the wire and you will need to make sure that you have the correct contact tip for the diameter of wire you're using. If the contact tip is too small for the wire diameter you are using, the wire will not feed through efficiently whilst you are welding. However, if the contact tip diameter is too large for your welding wire selection, it will not make a satisfactory contact to achieve a good weld deposit. So, having the right contact tip for your wire is very important. Next up, we need to think about a safe working environment. Setting up our gas cylinder and regulator correctly and how we can set the correct gas flow rate. Gas selection is vital for a high quality weld. Don't forget, the correct gas can help to save you time and money. Choose the right welding wire to achieve a strong weld. Ensure the contact tip is suitable for the wire you are using. 